So as I said that uh, due to complex nature of uh, you, uh, it is very difficult to obtain an analytical solution of the equation of motion. Um, so we often use numerical methods um, to uh, get a solution of uh, of uh, RT of equation of motion as we uh, shown in equation number one. So, uh, so as I said that this RT uh, we will now obtain by using numerical methods and those uh, numerical methods are called integration algorithm and there are several integration algorithms Uh, there are several integration algorithms to obtain um, the new uh, set of coordinates and some of those uh, very well known uh, integration algorithms are Varlet algorithm we have leapfrog algorithm we have velocity Varlet algorithm We have Beeman, Beeman's algorithm, and so on. Uh, but all these algorithms they rely upon the Taylor series expansion. So, what is Taylor series expansion? So, the Taylor series expansion tells that my position at time t plus delta t would depend my position at time t plus delta t uh, p t plus half delta t, delta t square a t and the series continues. So, this is a Taylor series expansion. Taylor series expansion. Likewise, my velocity at time t plus delta t would depend on my velocity at time t plus delta t a t plus half delta t square b t and so on and so forth. Likewise, my acceleration also would depend on acceleration at time t plus delta bt and so on and so forth. So, all these algorithms they rely upon Taylor series expansion and how they differ from each other is where they truncate uh, this uh, series. So, so at some point we have to truncate the series and so uh, these algorithms differ from uh, one each other where they truncate uh, the series and as well as um, uh, as well as whether they explicitly calculate velocity and r or they calculate r and implicitly calculate v will see uh, two of them. So, first we will be talking about the velocity uh, Varlet algorithm. Um, so, in the Varlet algorithm, in the Varlet algorithm, so r is expanded up to third term and then it has been truncated. Um, so, it has been truncated uh, in the third term. 
it also okay so if r t plus delta t is this what is your r t minus delta t so r t minus delta t, i'm sorry this is r so r t minus delta t is your r t minus delta t v t plus half del t square a t if you sum them up I get R T plus delta T plus R T minus delta T is equal to 2 R T my this two term goes off plus del T square A T. So, if I rearrange R T plus delta T is equal to 2 R T minus R T minus delta T plus del T square A T. This is the Barlet algorithm. This is how we get the new conformation R T plus delta T starting from the information of R T. So, what is the disadvantage of this algorithm? Number one disadvantage is you need to have uh, um, you need to have r at t minus delta t. So, that means you have to have an approximate set of coordinates uh, of r which is at a preceding time of t minus delta t. The second and the major disadvantage of Barlet is that it does not calculate velocity explicitly. So, it has advantage and disadvantage both. Since it does not calculate the velocity explicitly, this algorithm is faster. But so, that is a advantage. So, this disadvantage is that you do not have the velocity very accurately calculated in Barlet algorithm. And therefore, some scientist uh, prefer to use leapfrog algorithm. So, in the leapfrog algorithm, the velocity is computed explicitly. So, in leapfrog algorithm the r the new set of coordinates is again obtained by truncating the series at third term. In leapfrog algorithm Uh, velocity is calculated at t plus half delta t. So, if you get v t plus half delta t, you have v t plus half delta t a t and the series is truncated here. So, if uh, so using this expression, I can rewrite this equation as r t plus delta t is equal to r t plus delta t v t plus half delta a t and this v t plus half delta a t is nothing but my v t plus half delta t. So, I can write this as R t plus del t v t plus half del t. So, that is my uh, R t plus 
delta, uh, delta t. Um, so, this is how the coordinates are obtained. So, this is 1 for the leapfrog and the velocity t plus half delta t t plus half delta t is nothing but what you written above plus half delta t a t and v t minus half delta t could be v t minus half delta t a t and subtracting these two uh, if I do subtractions then I get v t plus half delta t is equal to v t minus half delta t plus delta t a t. So, these are the two equations uh, we solve in leapfrog algorithms. One is r t plus delta t that gives you your velocity uh, that gives your new coordinates and then uh, this is your velocity at t plus half delta t. So, now if you uh, look at uh, the expressions of r and v, your r is having uh, a jump from t to t plus delta t, whereas my velocity is jumping from t to half delta t. So, in other words, in leapfrog algorithm, this is your at t, this is your r at time t plus delta t, if this is your and coordinates and this is your t plus 2 delta t and so on and so forth, whereas your velocity is being computed at here, your velocity is being computed at v time t plus half delta t it is again being computed at here which is v t plus 3 by 2 delta t. So, what you see here is basically uh, position and the velocity they are leaping over the other. So, this is my velocity. So, since velocity and positions they are leaping over the other, this algorithm is called the leap. It is like a frog leaping, the position is leaping over the velocity and velocity is leaping over the uh, position and that is why it is called leap frog algorithm. So, as you can easily see in the leapfrog algorithm that this is much more accurate because it is explicitly calculating the velocity and it is also calculating velocity at every half delta t time step and therefore, uh, this method is much more accurate. There is advantage but disadvantage again would be uh, that the memory requirement would be much more because here you have to store both the positions and the velocity and therefore, your me memory requirement uh, for leapfrog algorithm would be more than the uh, Barlett algorithm. So, I think uh, these two algorithms given you some idea how you uh, can make your system move uh, starting from uh, one structure uh, to the other structure.